Hello, this is Paolo Jane from One Third Bespoke. Just waiting, waiting for some people to join in. Yes, just this right a bit. Hey, Sri Datta. Hi, Sri Sri Dave. Thanks for joining. Anand, Akib, Puja. Thank you, Mool. Thanks a lot for joining. Yeah, so we'll just wait, just give me 10 more seconds. Yes. Amir, Naman, thanks, thanks for joining in. Yes. Yeah, so today's uh, session is with Swati uh, Chandelier. So it's based on styling and some talk about that. Uh, let me introduce Swati Chandelier to you. Uh, so she's done her fashion design from NIFT, Chennai. And uh, she's a product and fashion stylist. She's worked with a lot of brands. Some of them are Soch, Chumbak, Max, Titan. Uh, and she also, other than this, she also does helps uh, business professionals and individuals and celebrities with their styling. And... Uh, uh, moreover, she's a fitness enthusiast. Uh, let me just get her in. Hey, Swati. Yeah, so she's gonna join us quickly. Thanks a lot, guys, for joining in. Santosh. Hey, Anu. Hey, Swati, how are you? Hi, hi. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, yeah, good, good. We've been seeing some of your fitness videos of late. Yeah, you've been, you've taken it one yeah, notch higher. Yeah, it's a routine now, part of my new routine, stay at home routine. <laughs> really cool, Am really I cool. Audible? Is this okay? Yeah, it's is fine. It's fine. It's fine. I think it's a bit yeah. low, but uh, let me just quickly okay. set my thing also, right? Yeah, it's better, better, better now. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yes, this is good. Yeah. Uh, how are yeah. things otherwise? Uh, how How's Mobin doing? He is fine too. He's, he's actually here. He's doing some work. He's going to be hovering around you. <laughs> okay. Uh, so to tell people, so uh, I know Swati, I think it's been three or four years now since uh, we know each other. And uh, right. that's through Mo uh, Mobin, Swati's husband. Mobin's an ace photographer. Uh, and, uh, I think we people work... know him more than people know me actually. So I don't <laughs> think he needs an introduction. <laughs> True. Uh, this is for some ones that we spoke clients who might not know Mobin. Yeah? Right. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, and Mobin, Mobin's obviously uh, very well known. Uh, in his circle uh, for his work he does. You guys should check him out. We'll probably tag Mobin later. Uh, and Swati, uh, she's uh, been really active with respect to styling. She's worked with a lot of brands, like I said. And uh, for people who just joined us, uh, she's she also helps individuals and business professionals and celebrities with their styling. Yeah. And uh, Swati, she's a great fitness enthusiast. Uh, some of her posts, uh, if you guys, you guys should follow her. And once you follow her, you'll know that, you know, she takes it to the next <laughs> level with respect to fitness. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, Swati. So, uh, what else is happening uh, with uh, all this? Uh, obviously, this, I think a lot of people, uh, it might be cliched right now, but then this is the situation we are in. So, how, how's work panning out to be for you last two, three months? So, like, obviously, the last, the beginning of the lockdown for everybody, it was completely like a dry season, right? There was no work. Because everything Correct. was shut. So, I mean, there was right. no point looking out for work because I know that nothing is happening in the market. But Correct. now, since like in Bangalore, the lockdown has been eased, the restrictions have been eased. So, projects are starting to like, again, start up. But Correct. very small scale, like not in the scale that it used to go before. It's like 10% of what was happening before. But wow. I guess it will slowly start taking up. Uh, true, maybe true. another month or so. But I think so, in Bangalore, we've been a bit lucky. Huh? Uh, some of the yeah, cases. Yeah. So uh, both of us are connected to Chennai. So I'm saying some of the cases in Chennai are very scary. At least the numbers. Yeah, and unfortunately, know? we were getting a lot of projects from Chennai now, which are put on hold because of the new lockdown that's added. I can understand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So has it changed anything, Swati, like in the sense, uh, with respect to, because I'm sure a lot of your work is physical. You need to be there. Uh, but has it changed something online where people are trying out technology and things like that with respect to uh, your styling with product and individuals? Yeah. So, uh, see, online does not 
when uh, the styling that I do, basically I do for either brands or I do for individuals. So for individuals, Sorry. it can work online because it's a one-on-one -on -one thing. Uh, but for the brands and for the bigger advertisement shoots and stuff like that, it's not been Correct. online. I mean, there's not much you can do. There are just True. like small True. shoots you could do. And like we're doing at home shoots where we take products home and we do things. Correct. Because everybody wants content, but like, I'm, I think everybody is trying to do something from where they are. Correct. Correct. Right. So, no, I can understand. It's uh, especially with the shoot scenes, right? It becomes, yeah. it's become very difficult. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and with respect to, I'm saying, no, for example, are there anything with respect to technology or something that's happening where you are able to coordinate some sort of a shoot uh, uh, through online medium or something? Or, or that's, so what's that's happening just a, is like yeah. um, the yeah. crew mainly is in Bangalore, right? So we are getting Correct. work in which the director is directing from like Bombay. And we wow. are doing our on-ground work here. So stuff like that is happening. It is connecting people nice. from different places. But uh, for Bangalore, we've been out and about because we are the lucky Correct. few who are able to do this. So what's happening yeah. is work from Bombay is coming to Bangalore and we are able to get some projects. But the Correct. direction comes from either a Zoom call or something from Bombay. Stuff wow. like that. Wow. Yeah. So that's, that's also pretty cool. Yeah? I mean, that yeah. even trying to think about it, it, it seems crazy. But uh, I've seen some videos that have popped up, right? With some, even some actors and things like that where they've actually shot it in their houses. But the way yeah. it's directed, it really looks like right. somebody has done it in one sort of a set, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very well written scripts. So really cool. So with this introduction, if you have any, so again, to for the people who've joined in, thanks a lot for joining in. Uh, there is going to be three questions that Swati is going to ask you guys. And there are giveaways. There are wallets, masks, and uh, vouchers from 108 Bespoke uh, that you guys can win. Uh, very simple questions. So uh, it's going to come in three segments. Uh, so we are almost ending the first introduction segment. Uh, so Swati, if you have your first question out for the people so that okay. they can answer it. So uh, my first question is going to be name any five. So this is going to be a more of a wardrobe and siding consultation, right? So I'm going to try to stick to Correct. that. Right. Correct. So uh, my first question would be name any five wardrobe essentials that you must have in your wardrobe. Now, wow. if you okay. guys can answer for guys what your wardrobe and the girls can relate to your wardrobe, any five Correct. essentials that you must have. Yeah. So yeah, guys, shoot, shoot your answers. Uh, yeah, we'll just take a look at it. So five essentials sure. are uh, in your wardrobe, which is like almost yeah. must haves. Yeah. 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 Right. So we'll just wait uh, for people to start replying. Uh, in sure. the meanwhile, what will happen is there's a team backend, uh, which will take a look at these replies and once we are done with our session, they'll uh, probably, you know, uh, what do you call it? Send a note out to people who won or they'll put it in our stories, you know, so that people know. Okay, okay. Works, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jasmine says black trouser. Yeah. yeah, yeah, guys. So five essentials that you need to have in your wardrobe. So if you guys can yeah, keep it's... shooting your answers, uh, that way we can, yeah, white t-shirt, blue denims. Yeah, I think people are yeah. getting it now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll just probably wait for some more answers to come sure. and then. Oh, Anu, Anu has, I think, five ready. Yeah, That's I think really she's, cool. she's, she's getting where I am at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Dapper, yeah, second, yeah, he has five too. Nice. Yeah, right. So cool. I think we'll just let people answer that uh, in sure. the meanwhile. So. Uh, in the next section, I just have a few questions for you, Swati. I'll just shoot these questions. Uh, so what are the factors that go into styling? So there are two, obviously, there are two styling and you work with both as right. product and individual. What are the factors and how are they different? If you can just yeah tell us. So, yeah, like you mentioned, like two, uh, either it's a brand or for brand, I do fashion and product or it's an individual, a client or celebrity. So when it comes to brand, the factors are very brand oriented it comes from them and we just follow that throughout like they right. give you an entire sense of direction as in this is my theme for the season this is my mood and this is what All i right. want the shoot to look like so All it's right. a little easier to work in that space but then when All it right. comes to an individual there are number of more factors that come in for example right. uh, like first you look at the age of the person that you're styling then right. you look at what event or occasion you're styling that person for 
then right. the most important thing their body type their body structure because that's Correct. where we come in right to tell them what totally. will look better and yeah. what will enhance their features and yes. then and also i like to take into consideration their personal style a little bit as well so that it's not Correct. just me telling them what i think you should be wearing like a, some input Correct. should come from them as well saying that you know i think this looks good True. on me is that right like stuff like that right so i think right. when it comes to an individual or a client individual client the number of factors are much more than the other side the product right yeah yes, yeah yes. so uh, even with the individual clients uh, like i'm sure even if you take care of the body you take care of probably right. their color and things like that uh, it also depends a lot on what which field they are in right because yeah, yeah uh, definitely yeah their yeah. job that's another issue definitely yes. yeah profession yeah yeah because somebody who is an artist versus somebody who is a banker they might definitely. be exactly the same built but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the styling is completely different yeah, yeah so job yeah their profession actually that would be number 1 or 2 for me that would be the most important correct 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 so that that's pretty cool and why do you think though, for for people there are quite a few people whom we meet because we come from a similar kind of industry who feel you know they can styling is not important they can just pull uh, they are these uh, mark zuckerberg followers or uh, probably you know you must be getting a lot steve jobs right but i just can wear a black t-shirt and blue jeans why do you think styling is important if you can just in few words tell people why styling is important so for me i i i don't know if this is apt for a lot of people but for me when i wear something good i feel really good about myself like that Correct. really changes my mood that brings something like i feel nicer when i wear something nice so i Correct. guess what like like in this entire lockdown we've been like trying to people are like working out trying to shape their bodies like trying to you're just trying to look good so what styling Correct. does does it just gives you an additional like you know help to make yourself look the best correct like it correct. can it can just be a really well fitted pair of jeans or the perfectly right. placed belt or the skirt which is the right length to showcase your assets correct. right correct so correct i mean it's just that little extra 10% that you can do and i think it will really help because it correct. helps your confidence it helps you like be out there correct right? so so positives <laughs> and plus even negatives right i've seen some people who probably are very coy and very very silent but then they wear some gaudy stuff and you know completely gives you a a different picture which is also i think styling helps you in bringing out what you want and if you don't do the right styling it can give you a wrong yeah. picture also right yeah. right right like as, right. i mean it it especially like if you are confused about what you want and you just Correct. want you just want to add something and you just want to see if that works for you then definitely you should put in that extra effort Correct, correct. I tell the story about you because people, yeah. though, if they don't know you, they have the first thirty seconds to really, you know, uh, probably tell what their persona is. People might just judge you by those, by what you're wearing. So, I, I styling plays a very important part there. So, again, yeah, other than that, also it, it kind of shows like who you are a bit without you have to talk. Like you just walk into totally, a room, and totally. if you're dressed well, it says something about you, right? So, correct. Correct. That's definitely that. Uh, you have a fan here who saying, "I'm a big fan, ma'am. Please say hi." If you can. Oh, hi. Early young mom. <laughs> so really cool. So one more thing was uh, what I want to ask was now, for example, now uh, Ranveer Singh, somebody like mm -hmm. Ranveer Singh, and you, there might there might be a lot of fans following him, and his clothing is, uh, I mean, it's it's very colorful. It's outrageous in some uh, way, uh, and people really can't wear that in daily life. so what, what what goes there like to tell people who try to follow such actors because i'm sure the actors you know they they try to see they are on screen actors off screen also they right. are actors also they so they wear clothes which will get them fans so something about that you know can people really wear those so, clothes see definitely uh, i'm sure he's wearing those kind of clothes because it matches his personality i know a lot of totally. people in real like in my life my friends who do dress up like that so i guess if yeah? you have wow. the personality to pull it off why not i mean there is wow. no harm wow. to it but like really? yeah. it depends like for me i am absolutely not that style mine is really minimal and mine is simple that is completely off like my Correct. expertise but if Correct. you have the if you if you have the attitude for it why not I mean. Correct. Correct. yeah 
thanks thanks deepen and sandeep uh, i think yeah these are uh, some friends you know trying to just mock me <laughs> yeah so <laughs> so uh one more question i had for you was now if there's some styling help that's required from people who are probably not uh either styling or wardrobe uh, help who are not in bangalore who are probably right. probably not even in india is is it possible to do something like that, you know help them out and yeah yeah so definitely there are we do online consultation as well and um, okay. if i'm doing a wardrobe styling or if i'm doing a personal styling what happens is that we first look at your we do like a personality analysis of who you are and what you do so that can easily be done Got through it. a call and Got then it. we do a wardrobe analysis we see what do you have in your wardrobe and what are the pieces that you can retain and what are the pieces that you can swap and uh, the last portion is the personal shopping that's when we actually you know interact and we do a, like a shopping uh, session together so that's the only thing right. that we have to be able to crack if we are doing something from another city online But, yes yeah yes. that's the only thing otherwise All everything right. is easily doable on a zoom call or on any kind of a online call so that's that's actually that's a good thing because yeah. see with technology and with whole i i have had a few clients who are in bangalore and right. who don't want to come to the store until they do a zoom call so yeah. which i think times are changing right people right. Uh, don't want that physical uh, what do you call to be come in front the social distancing they they take it too seriously i mean which exactly. is good which is very good in these times uh, so another thing that i have for you is considering the current situation where you know people have become very relaxed will that change the styling industry or fashion industry a bit will that come into the picture or this is just a phase which will pass and will go back to where we were i hope it's a phase that passes on and goes back to where it is because uh, i think it will eventually it will get right. back i don't know if it will get back to where it was or it will be better but i'm sure it is because people are getting out again things are starting up again so right right, right. i just i'm just hoping that it does get back to where it yeah, was yeah. before same same with us i mean for us being in the bespoke industry yeah, exactly. we want to do wear suits right and uh, all we see is people with t-shirts and shorts so <laughs> so i yeah even we just hoping you know but i think this is a time where people have to be careful where uh, the numbers are increasing but i think with respect to right. style uh, uh, people will get back to their normal selves once we have at least the vaccine out Yeah. yeah and also like people are not uh, in, in like when you're doing a when you do a styling for a person it's generally for an event so none of those are happening so that's another Correct. section which is completely closed off right Correct so we totally, don't know yeah. when that's going to take up Correct so now tell me difference now if you're styling let's say styling individuals itself you style them for an event whereas you right. style them for their for, for their uh, profession you know which is their daily wear how is it different and how, how do you take those up you so, know like i've worked with a few business professionals in bangalore who are like you know they have to be well dressed at work and they Correct. have like a job that's 9 to 5 and and when you go into their house they have like amazing stuff but they just don't Correct. know what to wear with what right so Correct. when definitely when it comes to them like what we do first go and check out what they have and put looks together and things like that and then we right. work with that existing wardrobe and then we add pieces right. or we extract pieces from that and that's how it goes but right. then with this when it comes to a celebrity or styling for an event then it's a completely right. different ball game because first you need to see right. what event it is what's the True. audience going to be like where it's going to happen and right. things like that and celebrities come with their own uh, preference of designers so you need to work with that as well True. stuff True. like that True. correct and if it's just an occasion like if, if you get a wedding uh client who's saying just style me for my wedding uh is right. it very different is it very different to, uh, than the normal styling that we do as in you you mean to say like a for the occasion like, yeah so yeah, that ethnic. is that, that is totally doable like when if you, we do for brides as well right like you just Correct. come bride and bride groom sorry yeah yeah Yeah, so we just go through like definitely they would have seen hundreds of pictures on Pinterest and be like, oh, this is the kind of stuff correct, I want. Correct. Correct. And so you just try to see what's best for them and correct. what will work for them correct. because that's that's the best we can help them. True. True. So uh, another so what question I think uh, one more what I have is uh, 
some people they get confused you know uh, with respect to stylist and a designer and uh, just in one sentence or two sentences if you can say how are they different how is a designer different from a stylist so basically the designer is just creating the garment that you are going to wear right the stylist Correct. is going to pick up things from maybe five six designers and put the entire look together and be like you know this is what looks good on you like i will pick up one look from one outfit from a designer maybe a pair of shoes from somebody else and we Correct. just put the whole show together and it's like you know this is how it can look so that's so i guess the basic difference right right but i okay so looks like so designers are basically they create stuff exactly, and stylists yeah. yeah they they put it in place you know put the yeah so uh so almost so one one more last thing that i have is uh obviously this is just a bit off beat with styling uh is your a lot of people who uh, either seen your profile like you if they don't know that you're a stylist and they're just following you uh it looks like uh, you're a great fitness enthusiast so it looks like you're from the fitness industry right uh so does that is it because you're from this industry where there's a lot of photo shoots happening you're meeting a lot of clients or it's just that initially itself from the word go from last when you were a college student the fitness thing was there in you or the fitness thing was it was there it was always there somewhere at the back of my head but if you know morgan also he's he was totally Correct. into fitness right yeah. so i think it just rubs off each other when you have that sort of energy in the house you're like you know why shouldn't i be doing the same thing and it true, just true. started off like that we started working out together and then now it's just like a routine it's something you have right. to do. like if if i could show you the amount of weights around me and stuff you think my house is a gym but it's not <laughs> <laughs> i can understand because uh, some of those videos uh, the, we on mobin right mobins yeah. uh, if people who know mobin uh, yeah he can easily uh, pull off as uh like a gold medalist in weight lifting or something like that right so <laughs> he's he got real good built uh so garve you no know, it's really cool right uh, that you guys have that time and that energy after that much work to to give to your to your health which is more important than that right? we had that thing in 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 us because it really helped us in these two months i mean Correct. it it gave otherwise it was like it was this was just something that you did every day like True. You eat, True. you do, you cleaning, but your workout has to be done. So that was a good thing. Like it added which a is, lot. Which is very good, and I'm yeah. sure uh, if people are into fitness, it, obviously during these times it's more important than any other time, right? It's like yeah, it's just exactly. not about your uh, what do you call it, shape of your body, it's just the stamina or uh, yeah. how immune you can get. Yeah. And it's about so, any kind of fitness. It's not that because right. I'm doing like weight training. It's not. It can be any kind of fitness because there are so many people who are doing, and it just kind of eases them out. So I think it's a good thing that people are totally getting into this. And obviously, you look better also in the sense. Yeah. A bit of that fitness helps. and yeah, yeah. <laughs> that helps totally. So uh, I'm almost uh, done with my questions. So if you have any second question that you can ask uh, our viewers, uh, that people okay. can answer you. Yeah. 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 Right. So my second question is, if you could go to your wardrobe and pick out one item that describes you the best, what would that be, and why? Okay. Okay. Cool. Super. So we have Mansa. Hey, Mansa. So I will consult for a wedding for the whole family. We'll answer that, Mansa. Thanks. Thanks for your question. Uh. So yeah. So the question was, if there's one go-to item in your wardrobe, uh, which that you can pick out. You. Yeah. that describes what you would that what be? would it be yeah. yeah if people can start answering yeah uh, so you have i think thank kalyani mm. shad kumar a white shirt wow nice and if you could say why too that would be great <laughs> yeah yeah so why why a white shirt sharat yeah you have spot to do 114 black dress nice so i think just by writing this one thing right you start thinking like i'm already thinking because i know sharat uh, so i'm just thinking white shirt and i'm thinking about him right because right. Uh, now it's such a simple question but then it gets you thinking that you know what about the white shirt describes his personality right. so yeah my denims white shirt with chinos yeah something anushree yeah thanks guys you can keep your answers uh, going we'll just get to the next segment so next segment is if you can give uh, so 
if people have some questions you can keep us uh, asking us the yeah. questions and we'll take those questions up and uh, second thing is uh, some tips that you can give swati some simple things in styling that people have to just keep in mind and that's going to change that small thing that can change their outlook you know if you have some tips uh, that you can give people yeah the basic thing would be like to wear proper tailored or fitted clothes that suit right. your body type that's the that's the least you can i mean you're anyways going and buying stuff just buy things that would fit you and that works for your right. body type right because right. Ra- right now we're so distracted about things on social media and we're like you know i want this i want that but just see that does that suit your body is that going to make you look your best self so that is going to be like the biggest tip i think i can give anyone and that fit that fit goes for even fits, even yeah. for me like even right. i see so many things but i i, I don't end up buying them because i i know that that's not going to look good on me but that looks Correct. good on somebody else some other body structure so that could be like right. something you could look into nice nice so we have hethi telling that not a piece of clothing but high heels that <laughs> makes me feel confident that's nice that's yeah <laughs> that's a good answer uh, so uh, i'll just see there's one question that was asked uh, a few of them actually what props to use when doing styling in virtual uh, we have that question uh, so are there any props that you can suggest that people can use either for styling products or individuals um it it would definitely depend on the kind of product you're styling right like if right. you're styling something delicate your props would also be like floral and delicate colors and things like that if you're styling maybe like something metallic then your props would have to match that so Correct. if it depends on what you're styling and it depends on what kind of mood you're trying to create the props right. are just yeah. added elements to that wow nice so one more question that we have here is uh how much does the stylist charge to consult for a wedding for the whole family so just okay. a bit of thing first is you can talk about styling the whole wedding family and then how much is the ballpark cost you know yeah so uh, generally when i am styling if you're styling the bride you try to stick on only to the bride and the family is generally okay. handled by another person because you want to give your entire attention to the bride so you generally just True. break it up in a team So suppose I ha- I have me and I have my assistant. So the assistants will take care of the family, and then you start with the bride. Right. So Correct. definitely the the entire family will have their own theme or color palette, saying that these are the kind of outfits we want. So it, yeah, and it depends on where they're located as well. If they're located in True. India or if they're abroad, because it's easier Correct. for us to source things here, but not there, right? That also Makes helps. Sense. Yes. So yes. I guess the costing really would work on a lot of factors. So I'm not able to really give you a ballpark figure right now. Correct. But uh, it would differ from like person to person, or the kind of requirement. How many members are there in the family, and um, exactly. how many garments need to be sourced, and things like that. So if that is something they can get in touch personally, and then we in could touch with them. you. Yeah. Correct. So let me see. There was one more question. I'll just quickly. Uh, check was a question okay i uh, i think we had a uh, a uh, few questions uh, which we got because we had posted this on a social right. media one of the one of the questions is uh when you're styling celebrities right uh is it easy in the sense when you're styling an individual so celebrities do they come uh with a means a pressure that goes on you or it's you just taking at the end of the day even celebrities are individuals is there a difference i think what the second part you said was right they are individuals as well they have their own stress in life they have their own things going on i don't think they come with an intention of that oh my god i need to be like uh, the mean Difficult. person on set or things like uh-huh. that it's absolutely easy if you were easy going with them i think they bring out the same mood in you so I have nice. never come across anybody who I'm like, oh my god, she's a celebrity. I'm so scared. I don't know what I'm going to say to her. I don't right. think it works. And I feel if you're confident in your work, they're going to respect your work. So true, true. And yeah. uh, so one more thing is, so most of the work that uh, we know or uh, that you've done is Bangalore oh. and uh, Chennai. Are there any other right. cities that you work very uh, frequently or something? uh we do uh, some work in kerala as well but not that much okay okay mainly okay. it's bangalore and chennai for now bangalore and chennai right super yeah. so uh, 
yeah, any other styling tips that you want to give before we just wrap up? I think. Uh, um. Yeah. So fit definitely would be one thing. Then. Right. Um, also, when you're buying things, like, do check for durability of product. Just because Correct. something is expensive, uh, like I know, obviously we don't we don't buy expensive products so often. But because Correct. when something is expensive, you at least try to research or try to check why is that so expensive, because Correct. they do last you for a long time, right? Like so, right. that's one thing that I think it should work for somebody who's like you know making ta- like tailored outfits for an individual. Correct. Like we say, like uh, uh, there's a saying, right? A suit is an investment. So I think yeah. that goes with a lot of outfits also. It is an investment. Right. Uh, so basically, what you're trying to tell is don't uh, means think of it as an investment so that you buy the exactly. right things. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. 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 So cool. Super. Thanks a lot, Swati. Uh, is there anything else you want to tell the people who are watching us right now uh, before uh, we end the session? No, I, I like. I'm just say to everybody that you know, just move on in life, and everything's gonna be fine. We're all stuck at home. We're all going through the same. Stress in life, but it's going to get better. And Thank like, stay safe, stay fit. Any kind of fitness that you're into, like, start today. Don't waste any time. And Correct. That's about it. Stay and, safe. And where can they connect uh, with you if they want to get connected with you? Uh, Instagram. You can just go to me, my Instagram handle and DM me, and yeah, that would be the best. Sounds good. And uh, also, so what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, uh, Swati's profile up on One Zero Eight Consultancy. If anybody needs to get uh, any personal or individual consultancy booked, uh, we'll give you details on that. Uh, oh. One more thing, yeah. So one more thing I wanted to announce was so next week, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a, a webinar uh, on oh. Zoom. This is on technology in fashion. So how right. technology is changing, how people are adopting technology. Uh, it's just not about uh, video conferencing. It's about more. to do with styling and how now you have these 3d outlooks of people and people can check their mm-hmm. outfits and uh, contactless shopping in a lot of things right, right, so right. anybody interested can just keep looking at a page there'll be details on how you can register for the zoom session and uh, thanks a lot uh, swati has been a great talk thank you talk. so much yeah and, thank you uh, yeah and everybody who's answered uh, please keep looking at a page we're going to announce the winners and uh, obviously they'll get the team is going to get in touch with you individually on how you can get your customized gifts. Uh awesome. yeah, that's all I had. Thanks Swati, thanks a lot. Thank you, you so much. Yeah. yeah. Bye. See bye. you soon. Bye-bye. See you. Thanks See guys, you. Bye. thanks for joining. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye guys.